flush gasket. So flush valve gasket. So anyway, we're gonna put that on now. So that just slides right over there. Push that so it's all the way up against there. Make sure my bolts are out. And then I'm gonna pick these up just so I have them over there. These are the nuts that go on the bottom. Um, I don't use metal. Don't use metal washers on these. So take this, line those up, set it down, and then we're good. We're gonna put these on underneath. And it's made to go just hand tight. So what I'll do is I kind of tighten it up a little right there. And what I want to do is this line right here, I want to even this line right here. I want, to, I want to try to make that line even when I'm bringing this down. What I'm going to do is I kind of feel it. I don't like that wobbliness in it. So I just keep tightening it until I get to a point where I don't have that wobbliness and I try to bring it down evenly. That's pretty snug toilet. Okay, and it's not flopping around. That's the way I like them to be. This is good, this doesn't move. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our supply line. So we have this nut. This nut goes around here and that screws to the fill valve threads that are coming out of the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna take this we're gonna put this on the bottom of the toilet right here. There's this uh, threaded portion coming out of the bottom of the fill valve. So we, I'm, gonna, I'm just tightening this up temporarily for right now. And this is one reason, I like to get these fairly in line and that's why I cut this off where I did. So it is really close. What I wanna do, since it is PEX, just to sturdy this up and that's why I used a solid, uh, piece of tubing rather than a flex line so we're gonna I'm gonna make a couple of small bends in it to get it, to try to get it to come straight down into that valve what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bend this right here just like that and then I'm gonna bend it back right here so that when I put it on it's gonna be doing that it's gonna be doing that kind of thing so that it comes down into the valve so I'm going to mark this. I'm going to mark it right down where it meets the valve. Right down so that it goes down inside those threads on the valve. If you're not used to using tubing cutters, just um, go gentle with them. Okay? Just be gentle with them. So what you want to do is get it started. Don't really crank down on this. Just get a little bit. Okay? Because if you really crank down on it, you're going to bend your tubing and you don't want to bend the tubing because then you've made it out around, you're not going to get it in there and you got to cut it off some more. So when you, when you make your first turn, just tighten it just a hair more. It should take you a couple turns to do it. Usually an experienced plumber does it in about two to three turns, um, but you don't want to over tighten those. I'm going to take that nut off the valve, I'm going to take the nut and the ferrule. This is made so that when you tighten this nut down, this ferrule squeezes into this pipe. And that's where the seal is made. It doesn't seal on the threads. That's not the seal. So just for insurance purposes, you don't have to do it. But I like to do it because, well, I don't have leaks because of this. I don't know if it is because of this, but I don't have leaks. So, and that's a good thing. So when I say I don't have leaks, I'm not saying that I've never had a leak. I'm just saying I know how not to have leaks now. So, so there, we put that on there just like that. And because we got some flex, we'll be able to line that up pretty easily right there. Go ahead and get this started. Get your threads started before you get anything tight because you don't want to cross thread this right here. You don't want to cross thread that. So you might even just leave this undone so that this is free. And go ahead and get this started. 
once you get this started and you know it's not going to cross thread, then you can put this one up. And then just, and if you have to do a little bit of adjustment with the bend, you can. I'm going to get my wrench. I'm going to get a little crescent and I'm going to tighten this up. We're going to tighten this up now. That's tight. We're good. We're in line. When you tighten this nut down with a stainless steel braided hose, don't tighten it down like I just did. It's got a rubber gasket in it. It seals differently. It seals against the rubber gasket. If you tighten it down too tight, you will tear that rubber gasket. So we're going to turn the water on now. Just turn the valve. It's a, it's a quarter turn valve. So just turn it on. And it might spit a little bit because if you remember we turned the water off, we ended up get, probably getting some air in the lines. And then you can see how your toilet flushes. Um, and then watch it fill again. So tank lid, just, just any tank lid is probably just going to pop on that. Unless you got your dual flush, that's going to be, you have to line things up, may have to make some adjustments in your push buttons. So here, what you have is your hardware. You just stick your hardware on there first. Pop that in like so. And these just screw on underneath. And if you got a cordless drill, it goes pretty quick. Sometimes these threads are kind of tight and it's a lot easier if you've got something like a cordless drill. Now this is one of those things, these toilet seats are one of those things that people put on and then they're loose in about a month to six months. And they're flopping around on top there and nobody really knows what to do with them. So if you get this right, if you get this part of the toilet seat right, then your toilet seat won't ever come loose. This is the part you're going to love. Okay, so it's got a lock and an unlock on it. So we're going to unlock it right now. Okay. You can see the unlock and the lock. So all you got to do, this is called an easy clean seat. Just pop that on there and lock it in place. Okay, and there you go, your seat's on there. Now if you ever want to take it off, just unlock it and just grab it right about here. Give it a couple of little gentle twists and pop it right off. Because as you know, every toilet seat gets really dirty right back in here. So there we go. Brand new toilet.